I see you. You see me too? Ha, good, good. Then it is all working. You, me, this projector. Even if we sometimes fall. There is a war building in Sloane's eyes. One that Zivu Arath will exploit as she did with Osiris. Savathun wore his face, but it was Zivu Arath who took his light. Her whips drove him into a frenzy, lured him into danger, forced Sagira's sacrifice, and left him to die. Now she twists my thoughts into thorns, draws out the faces of the suffering Elixni into my dreams. She whispers that I took pleasure in their pain. I see their eyes as they died by my hands, and they see me. She does not lie. She challenges what you hold as a strength. Osiris's ambition, my protection. Sloan's duty. I have felt how the right word, the right face, can incite one to violence. But I have changed. What she has taken, it will not break me. Sloan is no warrior of glass. But the war within her. Even stone crumbles under enough strife. Stay with her, Guardian. As I should have with Osiris. We must offer her what support we are able. Even if she does not want it.
Before you can confront the Witness, you must understand it. The Witness's first victims were once like you. Struggling for survival, bolstered by hope. And so their hopes became reality. They called it the Gardener, their deity of life. It ushered them into a golden age. For eons, they prospered, but their newfound god never spoke to them. It lavished them with gifts, but not with guidance. And though they lived in paradise, they came to crave a greater purpose. They desired meaning, structure, a winnower, to shape the garden. Their scholars discovered that the Gardener shared a connection with another entity among the stars. They called it the Veil, and when they found it, they arrived to claim it. They already knew much about the Light, how it could bend the laws of the universe and create life. But they came to realize that it could bring ruin just as easily. The cosmic events it set in motion could wipe out entire civilizations in a heartbeat, without reason. And so they saw the light, not as a source of prosperity, but of unfettered chaos. By studying the veil, they came to know the darkness. A power that was shaped by thought and consciousness. And in the darkness, they found the means to carve away the chaos of existence. To calcify it into a final shape. Eternal. And perfected. They brought the veil back to the Gardener in an attempt to strengthen their connection. There, they could reshape reality itself. The Gardener would not allow it. And so it fled their world. But they would not be deterred. Having witnessed the truth in the darkness, they used its binding power to merge themselves into the salvation they craved. Thus began the Witness's pursuit, its campaign to impose meaning on a meaningless universe, one that is nearly at its end.
Well, now we've heard what Asa had to tell us. We know our enemy better than ever. To think that it all started with the need for purpose. How that need became an obsession. What bothers me most is how much I understand it. This mission. It's my purpose, my reason for being. My guiding light. Without it, I... I'm lost. I don't know who I am or what I'm supposed to do. And that lack of direction, it's harder to face than a thousand battles. I felt the same about my previous mission when I held the line on Titan. And if I'm being honest, it feels like I failed. I survived, but for what reason? What was it all meant to achieve? The only answer I've found is to learn what Asa knows. If I can do that, it will all have been worth it. Our link ended before Asa could explain how to get through the portal. The bond took its toll. But we'll both be ready again soon. When that time has come and gone, then I can feel like I accomplished the mission. Somebody that lost themselves along the way. But there's a little piece of her still out there. A sliver. Who still has a feeling or two for the somebody I could be. So I trust her. Because she ain't never steered me wrong. No matter how rotten I was. Because at the end of the day, maybe we gotta put our faith in something other than ourselves. Even if we're too stubborn to admit it. I didn't expect you to put a lot of stock in faith. And I didn't expect you to lose yours and keep moving. Guess we're all full of surprises, ain't we? I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt that you're being genuine. Oh, I'm always genuine. People just ain't always paying attention. For real, though? Moon Dust might have given me a push. Thought it'd help. Sounds like familiar advice. Is it, though? Helping? No joke? I think so. Then we have that in common, too. 